Hello everybody, it is Tom and welcome to another video. So, hello, I am reporting live from the site of my new apartment. Hooray! Yeah, so this, I am, <laughs> yeah, so full disclosure, I am extremely sleep deprived and it's been quite a week. So this is probably gonna, this, this might be a rather disjointed video. Uh, I'm also probably going to be minimally editing it because I, I, I'm tired and I don't have a lot of time. Uh, so yeah, uh, you've been warned. But okay, so I wanted to share that I have, with your help, thank you so much to everyone who donated to the GoFundMe to help me escape from the cockroaches and general, the, the various things that were going wrong at my previous apartment. Uh, so I'm now in my new apartment, which like you can't really see super well, but like, here, I'll turn the thing a little bit so you can see, you can see there's the kitchen, eh? So actually, uh, that, that cereal box on top of the refrigerator is empty, but it's up there to prevent Darla from jumping up there because she's obsessed with getting on top of the upper cabinets. That is also why the paper towels are there. So yes. Anyway, there's the kitchen. And then here we have the living room here. I'll duck out of the way. We have Darla on the couch over there. We have my uh, beautiful view of a brick wall. And then over on this couch over here, we have Benny sleeping. Uh, so yeah, he and Darla tend to sleep on opposite couches. Drum kit in the back there. And then that is the mystery zone. No, so actually that's, that's the closet and uh, the bathroom, which yes. <laughs> oh, and also, 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 I would be remiss if I did not Okay, hold on. Let's see if I can do this. Let's see if I can do this. Oh my god. Oh god. It's the bookshelf. <laughs> so I ripped out the charger. Uh, it's fine. It's it's fine. We're still we're still recording. Anyway, so the bottom line is I'm very happy to be in this apartment. Uh, really, the the lack of the lack of sunlight is the only thing that I don't like about it. Everything else has been, everything else is great. Uh, the size is perfect for me. Uh, it's, it's a little too small for all the stuff that I brought. So I might need to pare down a bit more even after I pared down so much prior to the move. But you know, it's, it's just a very cozy space and like the kitchen is fantastic. There's so much counter space and storage and like, it's just, it's just good. So I'm, I'm, I'm good here. Uh, but I did want to share some of the trials and tribulations <laughs> that uh, that I I went through in order to get here and after getting here. Uh, yes. So uh, first of all, like moving day, moving day was mostly okay. The movers showed up and took all my stuff and I felt terrible because like they were having to carry all my boxes uh, like down three flights of stairs. Uh, and, and that, that scene, and they were very, they were like huffing and puffing and I'm like, oh my God, but I know I'm literally, I, I was literally paying them to carry stuff down three flights of stairs, but I still felt bad about it. Luckily when they got here, they were able to fit everything in the elevator, even though it's small. So they didn't, they, at least they didn't have to like go up three flights of stairs here because haha, I'm actually on the same level as I was at the previous place, though this is floor four and that was floor three, but the other place, it was like ground floor, first floor, second floor, third floor, and this one is first floor, second floor, third floor, fourth floor. You don't need to know this. I don't know why I'm telling you this, except that I'm very sleep deprived. So, uh, but yeah, so that went smoothly. Uh, the movers were great, <laughs> except like, so I, I don't drive as those of you who've been there, who've been here for a while know. I don't have a license. I don't have a car, so I'm reliant on public transportation and ride-sharing services. So I called a lift when it was time for the movers to head over here, and obviously I had to be here to let them in. So I called a lift, and I got and like the driver had a really hard time finding me, and it emerged throughout the course of me calling him and trying to tell him where I was that he speak he spoke very little English. So. Uh, Finally, we, we figured it out and I got in the car and like we started driving and I was looking at the map on the Lyft app and I was like, this this seems longer than it should be. Like, why, why would it take so long? Is there traffic or something? And I realized that my phone had 
autocorrected the name of my street to the name of a different street downtown that would take 45 minutes to get to. And the driver was about to take me like deep into downtown Chicago instead of to where I am, to where my apartment is. So luckily I caught it quickly enough that I was able to to tell him, but like trying to communicate to him the fact that the address was wrong. And we met, we, I managed to get the point across and like I, I fixed it in the app and then it got sent to him, so it was fine. And like, if I had noticed, I'm so thankful that I noticed it when I did because like, just envisioning like 30 minutes down the line, me being like, wait a second, <laughs> where are we? And like the, the truck, the moving truck waiting outside, the, it could have been bad. But luckily that went well. I don't know why I'm knocking because it's all, it's in the past, but for myself in the past, I'm knocking. Uh, yeah, so then I let them in, we came up to the apartment, they brought all the stuff in, it was great, they were able to use the elevator, and then after that, I had to head back to my old place to, you know, sweep and clean and get rid of the last final things that were still there, or bring things over here that I was able to, so, and of course the cats were still there, very confused, and just generally having, generally like walking around the empty apartment, yowling at things. That was Darla. Benny was just kind of curled up in the corner. But yeah, so it was at this point uh, when I started carting down large loads of recyclables and garbage and things like that. And like things that I had to throw out because I couldn't, I knew I couldn't fit them here uh, and I hadn't had time to take them out before. It was at this point that the torrential rain began. <laughs> and in order to get to the dumpster, I had to go down uh, three floors of outdoor stairs. Oh, and the heat just turned on, so the ceiling fan is going to start turning because the air comes up and turns it. So just so you know, that's what's going on. Uh, yeah, so at first I was like, oh, this this is fine. You know, I have a hood and I'll just go down. But there's this thing that my old apartment does where like, the water pools on the roof and then just like pours down in this flood of water that drenches half the stairs. So I'm having to like, there was one point where I was carrying down this, I was carrying down this, this table, this folding table that I wasn't, that I, I wasn't bringing with me and was uh, leaving in the alley. And like, I had to put it over my head to block the flow of water uh, and it, it wasn't, it wasn't good. Like I got very drenched and finally I was like, I, I can't do this. This is too wet and also a little bit dangerous because the, the stairs were really slippery. So I, st I had to take all my stuff and go out into the building and down the interior stairs and around the building and over to the alley. So it's taking more time and I'm going up and down and up and down three flights of stairs again and again and again and again. Cats are crying because it's past their dinner time. I have to hurry so I have time to drop off the keys uh, so I don't get charged for an extra day at the apartment. It's just, I'm so tired because it's been such a long day already and I didn't get enough sleep. So like, it was, it was kind of madness. And then finally I got all of that done and I packed up the cats and I called a lift. I couldn't pack everything that I wanted to, so I had to throw out some things that I didn't think I would, but I just didn't have room for them. And so I put the things that I was bringing into a bag, uh, and it just happened to be a bag made of what I thought was quite a sturdy kind of papery material. Uh, but yeah, as it happened, water and papery bags do not go well together. And the second I got into the lift, the bag broke and everything inside of it spilled into the interior of the car. <laughs> so uh, luckily I had one of my like folding shopping bags with me. So like I took it out and I'm like trying, it was smaller than, than what I needed. So I'm trying to cram like things in there and into my book bag and, it, and Darla was screaming the whole time. And just the, the, the Lyft driver was just, silent and I could feel him getting annoyed with me but it's like well, I, there's nothing I can do I have to I have to bring these cats I have to cram all this stuff into my bag so it was fine I tipped him very well we finally got there it was fine brought the cats up here they've been enjoying exploring and it's been good uh yeah so then this I mean this building and just the 
I think it's a pretty standard policy where if you if you get locked out of your if you get locked out of your apartment, you have to pay a seventy five dollar fee for them for the landlord to come open the apartment and get your replacement key. So obviously, I wanted to avoid this, and I'm really really let's say paranoid about getting locked out of my apartment. Like to the, it's one of those doors where when you open it and close it, it's automatically locked. So like every time I open it, I press the button on the side to make sure it's unlocked and then I lock it myself with a key. So I'm never out of the apartment without a key. And I, every time I move into a new apartment, I get copies of the keys made and then I keep one on a key ring in my pocket and one in my book bag, and one goes to my best friend. So that way, I will never have the po- have the problem of being locked out of my apartment. So, with that in mind, I went to a watch shop down the block that does that also makes keys because they're like, I need to get keys made ASAP so that there's no chance of me getting locked out of my apartment. So I went in there uh, on my lunch break yesterday, and I gave the keys over and sat down to wait and like a few very quickly the guy came back over and was like um do you have another copy of this key holding up my apartment like the unit key to my actual apartment not to the building i'm like no that's that's the only key that i have that's why i'm here and he proceeded to reveal to me that he had accidentally uh cut that key into the shape of the building key because he thought it was one of, you know, one of the blank keys that he was going to be making for me, one of the extras. But in fact, it was the original key. So I had to slowly realize that I was locked out of my apartment in the middle of a work day with both cats inside. And I panicked a little bit and finally like managed to get a hold of my landlord and I was just freaking out, melting down, not not doing well. <laughs> but you know, the the guy the guy who made the keys, like it's I don't I don't hold any ill will towards him. Mistakes happen, accidents happen. It's just honestly, I should blame the universe because this is the sort of thing that happens to me. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, so he basically, I got off the phone and I told him like they're charging me seventy five dollars for a replacement for a replacement key and he said like he said i'll pay for that immediately like i didn't have to ask him i didn't have to guilt him i didn't have to make a fuss or anything he just said it's my fault i'll pay for it so he got he gave me 50 dollars out of the cash register and also said like and these keys are free so he'd already made my three copies of the key for the building door and the other three for my unit would have been a total of twenty five dollars. So the fifty dollars plus the twenty five dollars, seventy five dollars. I'm explaining the math for some reason. But yeah, he's like, yeah. So when when you get this, when you get the replacement key, bring it back, and I'll make I'll make more copies for you. And uh, no offense to him, but I don't think I will be back. I think I'm gonna go to like uh, Ace Hardware or Home Depot or somewhere where like it's a little more like I f- I feel a little uh, more secure in it going well. So <laughs> I should mention it was also pouring down rain yesterday and very cold and it was actually snowing and raining, which is a fun combination. So I had to like get in, get into the building and sit out in front of my apartment for just sit in the hallway in front of my apartment door while Darla, who had heard me clear my throat or something and recognized it, was at the door, meowing at me, like, what are you doing out there? Come in. And I'm like, I can't, darling, I can't. So I sat there and, and read read a, read a book on my phone. And finally, finally, the lady from the landlord showed up and let me in and gave me the key. Uh, and lo- I didn't know this, but if you pay at the time of the service, it's only $50. And since the guy at the key shop had, had given me $50, I, was, I gave it to her. And she was like, okay. And then there was also supposed to be the key replacement fee, but luckily the lady in the office who I'd spoken to waived that fee, perhaps because I was so pathetically panicked (laughs) about the whole thing, and it it technically was not my fault. Uh, So they waived the fee, so I didn't have to pay anything for the situation, thankfully. 
but it was very stressful. And then finally, our final tale uh, was this morning when I was in the kitchen making breakfast and I finally like took a deep breath and let it out and was like, I finally feel like I can kind of relax. Like things are, things are good here. Like I'm in an apartment that I like and I don't have to worry about things so much. I, the move is behind me and it's going to be good. And like Darla was sitting over on the, on the island there as a kind of island counter, but she was sitting over there like watching me as I made breakfast. And I noticed that she was staring at the ceiling and I was like, that's weird. So I look up <laughs> and there's a freaking cockroach on the ceiling, like just, just chilling, just chilling on the ceiling. And the, the number of swear words that came out of my mouth, uh, I, I, yeah, don't, don't ask me to repeat them because there were a lot of them and many of them uh, involved an F. And so I'm like, okay, no. <laughs> so I, I got a chair. I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll get up there and I'll get him in a cup. I'll capture him and I'll throw him outside. But when I looked up again, he was gone. And luckily he had fallen to the floor. I'm like, okay, so I captured him in a cup and I lifted the cup with a piece of paper. And I peeked inside and he wasn't there. So I have, I'm swearing, just swearing and swearing and swearing. I've got my flashlight from my phone. I'm shining it around. I found him behind the fridge. So I ripped out the fridge. Oh, yeah, I should mention the fridge is broken also, and I'm getting a replacement, but that's fine. Uh, yeah, so I pulled out the fridge, and I captured him. And I took him outside, and I walked down the block, and I put him by a tree. So hopefully he can enjoy the tree and not come back here. And now I'm very scared <laughs> about, because, like, I was so careful about checking the boxes and checking everything and washing things. And like, I just, I did not want to bring any cockroaches into this space because this apartment, like my previous apartment is very old and rickety and like has made of like wood that's crumbling and it's, it's not in great shape. There's holes in the walls and holes in the cabinets and things like this. This place is like solid and you can tell. Because, like, when I walked on the floor in the other place, it's creak, 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 creak. Here, it's just, like, like this is probably vinyl flooring over concrete, essentially. Uh, which I'm not mad at. I like that. That's good. Because it means that I don't hear people walking above me. They don't hear people below me. Don't hear me walking. And it also means that this place is not easy for bugs and things to get into. So, <laughs> the fact that a cockroach managed to smuggle its way here with me uh, is not is not great. So I am like fingers crossed, praying, knocking on wood, all the things that it was just that one because like I don't I don't think I can handle it if there's another cockroach infestation. Like this, it was like seven or eight months of living with just so many cockroaches every single day and it was a nightmare and i don't want to go through that again so like if i see another one i'm going to call the landlord and have them send someone in from pest control it's going to be a pain in the ass because i'll have to shut benny and darla up in the bathroom or something uh since i no longer have a bedroom that i can put them in but like i'm not doing this again <laughs> i'm not i'm not doing this again i do not want to live with cockroaches again it is not something i want to do and like i cannot tell you how beautiful it has been to walk into the kitchen every morning and not have to watch my step so I don't step on a cockroach that either Darla has killed during the night or that has just wandered out, you know, onto the floor. Uh, I don't have to watch like 10 roaches scuttling around the sink when I turn on the light in the morning or, you know, whenever. And I apologize if you're, if this creeps you out but believe me it creeped me out as well so it has been so nice living in a place that does not have a civilization of roaches and i would very much like to continue that streak so if you have any positive thoughts that you can direct toward there being no more cockroaches or pests of any kind in my apartment i would really appreciate it please send those vibes to me because i need them 
Okay, yes. <laughs> so other than that, uh, the other thing I've been that's been consuming a lot of my time is that I've been doing the final edits for Dreamers, which is going to be coming out quite soon. Uh, so there are they've already they've received a request for an advanced reader copy. So someone's standing by waiting to read it, and I'm not sure how you get on the advanced reader copy list. But if I have information about that later, I will let you guys know. So that. That, and if you don't know what that means, essentially it means that you get to read the book before it officially comes out in exchange for writing a review about it and posting it on Amazon and Goodreads and things like that. So we'll see if that is a thing that I can let you guys know about. But yes, okay, yeah. So uh, long story short, <laughs> I'm very tired and uh, there's been a lot, a lot of stressful things going on, uh, but... I'm very glad to be in my new place, and I like it a lot, and I've already planned, like, a game day with my friends for a few weekends from now. Really looking forward to having people over, and, like, once the weather gets warm, I can walk down to the lake and, you know, enjoy that, so, yes. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, also, it's about, it's almost 6 o'clock p.m. right now, and I have been ready for bed pretty much all day. So I'm probably going to finish this video, mm, edit it as minimally as I can, and then get ready for bed because I am tired. <laughs> Hopefully now as I get more and more settled, I still have a little bit more unpacking to do, but mostly things are, you know, in, things are in a decent state here. Like the apartment is livable. I'm not tripping over things. Um, so hopefully I should have a bit more time to work on videos from now on, but I do really have to get the Dreamers uh, edits done. So I'm not sure what the future will hold for videos on this channel, but I'm hoping that I can continue doing like the Friday uploads. Though I was, I've, I've definitely noticed that the Friday videos have not been doing super well, so except for like a, a very few. So I'm wondering if a different day might be better, if like I upload on a Saturday or a Thursday? I don't know. I don't know. So if you have any thoughts about that or know any great YouTube wisdom about when is a good day to post, let me know. Otherwise, I'll still aim for Fridays and we'll see. We'll see how that goes. So yes. But in any case, thank you for sticking around and thank you for being patient with me while we go through this period of like me uploading videos of just me talking about stuff for, for however long it's how long is this video now oh wow i've been talking for like 25 minutes okay i thought this was going to be like a 10 minute video apparently not uh yeah so uh hopefully i will have some more contenty content for you in the future but for now i hope you have enjoyed this glimpse into the fascinating and stressful things i've been going through lately yes so okay all right, well, that's going to do it for the video today. And uh, thank you again to everyone who donated to my moving GoFundMe. I seriously cannot thank you enough. You've, you've really, like, I would not have been able to do this without you because the, like, paying the movers and all the associated costs, the lift ride back and forth, stuff like that, it, it really added up and I would not have been able to afford it. So you guys, thank you so much. All right, well, that's going to do it for today. Thank you so much for watching and liking and subscribing and what else do you do and commenting and everything else and a huge thanks to our patrons who are amazing and wonderful and fantastic and spectacular and many other words that mean good things and a special shout out to our Nick Nelson members Kelly Walker, Paul Z, Kent Smither, Kim Engel and Lauren Javier. Okay, that's going to do it for today. I already said that, but I did it again because I'm tired. <laughs> uh, have a wonderful rest of your day or night or whatever time of day it may happen to be. And I'll see you next time. All right. Bye. Yeah.